if you're interested in making your self-care and health a priority, then you need to have this routine as a part of your self-care toolkit. So in today's live session, I am going to be talking to you about some key takeaways from a recent challenge uh, that I just hosted. Uh, it's called the Mindful Mornings Challenge. This is a seven-day free online challenge which is designed to help you become more intentional about how you start your day, which in a sense is your morning, right? And how it can impact and set a positive tone for the rest of your day and in fact, in, return, in turn, the rest of your life, right? So if you like what I have to say, make sure that you sign up for the online uh, self-care challenge, uh, self-care workshop that I have coming up on the 10th and 17th of April uh, using the link that I have shared here. All the details will be mentioned there. So coming back to today's session, today I am talking about your morning routine. I am talking in particular about uh, what you can do to make your morning routine a powerful tool which can help you to change how you what you do during the day, how you show up in your day, and of course, it can impact your life, right? The way that you would like to. And uh, these, I'm sharing with you some key takeaways from the challenge so far. So some of the takeaways, some of the key things, but before I do that, let me just focus on a few key themes that I have, uh, you know, made a part of this particular challenge. This is designed to help you focus on different aspects of your life. And I'll give you some examples in a bit. And it helps you to sort of experience in real time the transformative power of a morning routine, right? So for example, so let me just take you through some examples to help you uh, understand what I'm trying to say here. So um, something that you're doing in any case in your morning is probably having a cup of tea or coffee or some such beverage. It might be lemon water for that matter. Right, just taking out a few minutes in your day for this particular activity that you're already doing, but the difference is by paying attention, using all your senses to really savor this time. Right, so which means that if you're having a cup of tea, making sure that you're really paying attention to the cup of tea. That means no reading newspapers, no looking at your phone not doing anything which distracts you from this particular activity. So paying attention to that cup of tea or coffee, right? That can have a, you know, it can just really uh, change the way or change the taste and let you really enjoy that moment, that cup of tea and coffee, which you would have probably not done or not experienced before. So just like that's one tiny taste. Then the other, uh, you know, challenges that I have, I had set across uh, was being a part of nature, just taking out 10-15 minutes in your day, uh, maybe in the morning, hopefully in the morning, but if you were not able to do that, just taking out time sometime during your day and spending that 10-15 minutes in nature and once again by, you know, starting by paying attention. So paying, that means that paying attention to the sounds of the birds chirping, to the rustle of the leaves, to you know, maybe the wind blowing, uh, to maybe the voices that you can hear outside, right? But again, you know, just starting to notice what is already there right at that moment. It might be the grass beneath your feet if you're walking barefoot. It might be the sun rays falling on your skin. So just noticing how beautiful it is to and how you how refreshing and you know truly it feels to be alive. Right, right at that moment and to be a part of nature because at the end of the day, we are a part of nature. It's just that most of us are today disconnected, myself included, and I actually have to make time and space and make sure that I go out from time to time. But otherwise, just spending that 10-15 minutes in nature is rejuvenating and replenishing. So that was one of the ways sort of showing you that how, you know, how beautiful it feels, how alive it feels to be a part of nature. Then the other challenges that I had put across were um, basically having, gaining clarity and insight, right? And that, 
that is through uh, basically to increase your self awareness uh, through writing self exploration and i have shared with you some uh, ways of doing that uh, the other ways was moving your body right because we uh, have become very sedentary as our lifestyles have become really sedentary and it's not really enough to work out at a particular time of the day or maybe just during the weekends for an hour or two and then just sitting on your chair for the rest of the week right that doesn't really work uh, because our bodies were designed to move and when we move we feel much better so if you were ever feeling a bit low uh, what works wonders is to just take a walk right and of course any kind of movement for that matter so if you're feeling really uh, tired you know to work out on a particular day so then maybe not just not pushing yourself to do that but by doing some stretches right doing some restorative yoga poses so finding out what works for you but at the end of the day once again paying attention to what you need right that particular day what you need what kind of movement will help you so once again becoming more mindful of the type of movement that you would like to experience so i am just taking you through some key takeaways that the participants in the mindful morning challenges challenge has experienced what they have been sharing with me how they have been feeling and you know they have been already with you know with, within this short span of time um, you know they have been feeling more energized as they start the day more replenished more uh, aware right and i think one takeaway that one of the members uh, one of the participants shared with me was also about finding moments of joy just by doing what i have mentioned just by starting to notice their mornings by by becoming more intentional about how they start their day they were able to start noticing the micro moments right that make up your life because otherwise what happens is we start the morning on autopilot mode we drift through the day on autopilot mode we end the day on autopilot mode and then we go to bed and think what did i do today right how did the time just go by um and it's all about being busy and then the that day becomes another day and those days turn into weeks and weeks turn into months and months into years right and that's how just time just flies by without giving us a sense that we've actually been doing something meaningful we've actually been enjoying ourselves right we've actually been creating something so how do you get that back you get that back by becoming more intentional about how you spend your time and in this particular challenge we have focused on how you start your day how you create a morning routine or make your mornings more meaningful for you right how you make your mornings work for you so as i mentioned a few ways i was talking about how you incorporate movement in your in your morning routine but it's not a movement for the sake of moving your body it's about finding ways to stretch to maybe uh, focus on uh, you know maybe a restorative yoga practice or something that you need from yourself it's about spending a bit of time in nature right uh, maybe feeling the sun on your skin feeling the movement of the breeze right it's about truly experiencing the joy of being alive in different ways and that's what this challenge has been about and again once again the takeaways has been that the main takeaway is probably for most people is that when you start paying attention you start realizing the power of these small moments right you start feeling more alive you are truly uh, grateful to be alive you feel uh, you feel connected with yourself and of course others it's only when you connected with yourself in a positive way that you're truly able to connect with others right so these are very powerful takeaways from this particular uh, challenge and i know uh, for those of you who have been going through with the challenge with me i know that you've been writing to me uh, some of you will be winning uh, you know two of you will be winning special prizes for that um, and this is what i want for you i want for you uh, that this journey inside the challenge to be truly transformative and just to show you and to help you to experience this transformation and and you can do that in even even a as short a period of time as 7 days right so this is in effect 
if you if you realize it now what i've been talking about a very very powerful self care tool right so if you have been trying to make your health uh, and uh, on to make your health a priority or self care needs to be a priority so you have been if you have been trying to make that a priority if you understand the importance of self care and how it pertains to long term health then you need to make your mornings a part of that and having a routine in the morning is the key to making sure that you have a consistent self care practice it's not the only way but it is one of the contributing factors right so some of the things that i mentioned today were that the powerful takeaways from this mindful mornings challenge has been that one it is a very powerful tool to have a kind of a routine in place which is intentional something that you have created based on your needs and what you want uh, you know what you want from your day how you want to feel and i've broken it made it down for you uh, over the period of 7 days to make it easy for you to make make it possible for you to focus on one challenge per day otherwise a lot of times what happens is that we become overwhelmed with the sheer number of things that we can you know the possibilities that are there to, uh, but i want to take away that overwhelm and that's the reason i have made it simple by helping you to focus on one thing per day right so that shows you uh, that you can choose to focus on only one thing each day and do that well commit to that and honor that commitment and that is enough right that's enough to start so that's been one take away the other others have been a couple of others have been that just by paying attention to uh, your day itself is rewarding right it helps you to feel more alive it helps you to feel more connected with yourself it it replenishes you it energizes you and when you start your day like that you feel that the you know world is at your feet right you can there's nothing that you can uh, not achieve or uh, the other you know other side effect of that which is a good side effect is that whatever challenges come your way during the day you will most likely be able to deal with them right in other words you become more resilient over time so all these are the takeaways from a simple seven day challenge like the one that uh, i have been talking about right now which is the morning, mindful mornings challenge i do host these free challenges once every month and i will have one coming up uh, next month um, it's going to be be friend your body challenge and i'll be sharing all the details with you uh, closer to the date but before that if you liked what i had to say today make sure that you click on the link that i've shared below and check out the online self care workshop it's called creating a long term self care plan which fits into your daily routine and i will be including what i have been teaching in this mindful mornings challenge in that so morning routine is going to be a part of that but there are many other tools that you will be getting uh, in order to create your very own self care um, plan which works for you because let's face it each of us have our unique uh, situations we live in different places we have uh, you know we are different phases of our life some of us have kids some of us don't so it's very difficult uh, to generalize and say this is exactly what's going to work for you but what i have been what i'm doing here is that i'm making it possible for you to learn in an intimate uh, you know sort of a setting there will be only 10 participants for per workshop to interact with each other to brainstorm and of course to guide you how to go about creating a plan that is suited for your individual need right that's the key here because you want that whatever plan you create whatever you do as a part of your self care has to be consistent otherwise you don't see the results consistency is key it's not about doing it once or twice a month as a chore or something this is something that you have to do for the rest of your life so great um uh, thank you for joining me today uh, if you're watching it on replay make sure that uh, and if you've been a part of this challenge do share your one key takeaway as a part of uh, this challenge in the comments below and uh, i hope to see you inside the workshop